Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today then, I'm reviewing a rangefinder which has just turned up at my door from the guys from Caddy Talk. Now this is the Cube, this is a brand new device and as much as when I show you it'll look like a normal rangefinder, it doesn't do anything that I've seen a rangefinder do before. Let me explain. So just before I do get into the video and explain all the fantastic features of this product, I want to make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be updated with all my weekly videos. So as you can see, this is a really tricky situation because my ball's here and I can't see the pin. Lucky, this cube comes with a caddy mode. So the caddy feature or caddy mode is really important for a time like now. So to activate it, all I do is click the mode button. You see it says caddy mode at the bottom on there. So caddy mode in action. And the reason I need it for this shot is because my ball's down there at the bottom and the pin's there. And when I'm down there, I can't see the pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to laser my ball with caddy mode on. So I get a distance to my ball, which is obviously down there, which is 19 yards from here. And then I'm going to hit the pin. And what it does now is it tells me that it's 67 yards playing 73 with 6.3 degrees of slope. And we can see that number then produced on the side, a little bit bright today. But essentially all I've done is I've hit that, hit that. It's given me the two distances in between with slope. That's a really cool feature of this cube. And with the cube giving the correct distance, I've hit it there to quite a nice yardage from not being able to see the pin. So I have got some pretty good sort of unboxing clips with this, uh, showing you what it looks like when it turns up. And I tell you what, you can tell already it's a premium product, even from just the feel of the case, uh, looking at the boxes, it arrived and the, the best compliment I could ever give it is it looked like an Apple product in the way it was boxed. And that is always a pleasant experience, but it is really, really small. And one of the things I like is it has a screen on the side. So when you hit a target, it's gonna show you the distance, but it tells you if slope is on or off. So you can turn that off in the settings. It's also got a screen on the other side as well. But overall, as a device, it feels very, very premium. So here it is, and there's a bit of a close up. You can see that metal finish underneath uh, and the actual device, caddy torque on there on the silicone case. And then you've got a mode button at the bottom. So to actually use the device, it's the top button to turn it on. You can see then through, we get this kind of laser in there with the uh, green circle with the red dot and then it's going to tell you the yardage so one of the really cool things is when it comes to actually working out the distance of an object this device doesn't just take into account the slope it's also going to take into account humidity altitude and temperature to help give you the most accurate reading which obviously let's say for example you're playing in the states uh, and then you go and play in europe you might find there's a big difference in temperature uh, but equally, obviously, if you're in the UK and you suddenly go to Spain playing golf, you're going to notice a difference. The ball flies a different distance. This will help calculate that for you. One of the other really cool features about this device is you can change the way it works out slope. So you can turn off where you get the temperature and humidity and all that stuff. And what you can do is you can have it where it actually works out on the average descent angle. So this device will work out the average descent over that distance from an average golfer and help calculate distance with that, which I think is really cool. So one of the coolest features now, as you can see there, it says caddy mode. So basically what this allows me to do is hit one target and then hit another, and it's gonna tell me the distance between the two, including slope, which is just unbelievable. So another cool feature with this, when I use it to hit a flag, let's say, so have you ever had it where you've got a flag and you've got a load of bushes behind and it's really hard to pick up the distance? What this rangefinder does is if I hold down the button and scan, it's now pulsing at me. And what it does is picks up the shortest reading. When I let go, it's going to tell me now what that reading is. And you can see that it's displayed on the side. So the price of this device. Now, for some people, this might be a little bit off-putting. For others that realise how many features it's got, it's actually not that bad. So the price of this device comes in at 325 in the UK. 
which I think is not too bad at all. And then you've also got that silicon case. So the silicon case is about £19, somewhere around there. So overall, you're looking at around the 340, 345 mark, something like that to get your hands on this. So by no means the most expensive range finder, uh, but coming with all those features, I do think it's a pretty good deal. Certainly where you get this e-slope function, the magic slope, so e-slope being environmental, magic slope being the one where it calculates your average descent into it, and then also that um, caddy mode as well. So it's packed with features, looks great, feels great in the hand, and it's rechargeable, up to 10,000 presses per charge. So there's more chance of me losing the cable than ever actually using it.